writing software is the show me part of the business, uh, where the standards are the tell me. So tell me how to do it, and then the show me how you did it part, which is, which is the software. So those two things really come together uh, in a complementary way. We also seen the lines being blurred in the industry between what a standard is and what open source is. And probably like never before, I've seen an industry in transition in terms of standards. And we, we've been living this in the last three, four, five years. Uh, and I don't think it's, it's over yet. What we learn is that actually open source is not a product. Open source is a platform which still need to be productized. I sometimes find ironic that you know, the telecommunications industry has been one of those industries that pushed the boundaries on what it meant to do you know, five nines and carry grades. You know, think of the carry grade term, right? And now you're moving in a world that says open source is going to solve the problem. Obviously, uh, I think it does from an innovation perspective, uh, but then uh, you need to have a very uh, well-engineered solution if you want to run uh, a network in production. Getting those things out of the labs and into the live networks, that's been the hard bit, the operationalizing, the hardening, the scaling. And those are the things, uh, to Gabriel's point, you know, that's, that's not the sexy part of the industry where you've got to do the debugging, you've got to do the fixing. Um, and yet, that's the most important part. As we've seen the deployments from the customers that we have take place, it, if you don't deploy it, you don't learn. And that sounds like a very obvious thing to say, but just testing in the lab and saying, well, maybe it's ready, maybe it's not, I don't know. Is it, you have to get out there and actually do it. Everyone is looking ahead at innovation, uh, but uh, everybody is actually trying to consolidate their operation aspects, which will allow them to innovate and accelerate. So I think there's been a bit of a, uh, a, a testing phase, and now it's the moment where you actually need to uh, establish uh, your footprint, operationalize the footprint, which will allow you to move forward. The real challenge really is un to understand where the balance is and to split the development effort and integration effort correctly between those two, between the innovation which we put there and the platform quality which is the key for deployments. I think at a higher level you, you find out who your friends are when you do this. <laughs> the vendors that come willing to the table and are actually changing their products and delivering products in that space and the vendors that come kicking and screaming, if you like, trying to avoid going through this process. And it's fascinating to watch that play out. You cannot have a vendor-driven community uh, because uh, I would actually argue that service providers should be much faster in adoption, not just in contributing and participating to the different communities, but actually much faster in adoption because I will actually foster much more innovation. Service provider by service provider have realized that they have to bring innovation back in-house. It's almost like they've outsourced too much, and they've outsourced their future. <laughs>